Hey guys, I've been tinkering on my bike again. Uh, made myself a little chain lubrication system. It's a little bit different to what the guys normally show on the internet. It doesn't work on a, on a straight gravity principle. It works on an inertial system. Um, so I th thought I'd share it with you guys and, and hopefully you find it interesting. So most of the guys put, put the, the tank for the, for the oil lab behind the license plate, which I find incredibly unsightly. Um, it, it doesn't look great. And also, I wouldn't put a whole lot of weight on this plastic fairing at the back. The other option was to put the tank over the back wheel, but you know, if it leaks any oil on the back wheel of a Blackbird, it's never a good thing. So I've removed the cowl, the back cowl. I decided to put the tank underneath the left hand side of the back cowl, um, nicely tucked away where you can't see it. Um, and also, if it leaks, it it'll leak onto this plastic and it won't drip on the, the back wheel, which is what you're looking for. The system can actually be filled from the, from the top without removing the back cowl. So the tube extends quite far up and it can actually go outside the bike um, so that if you mess, you don't mess on the bike. The cap just gets removed. Um, you put a small funnel on the inside of the tube with the breather to the side and then it fills up the tank uh, without hydraulically locking um, because of the oil and, and the air. Then when the tank, when the, when the cap is replaced, the, the breather tube is open to atmosphere and the actual filler tube is sealed off. And then this just gets folded very neatly underneath the, um, the helmet hook uh, to the back of the bike. And it's completely hidden away from, from the outside. If you do need to check the level of the tank, the, the clear tank is, is visible from the top or from the bottom to check that there's, that there's still oil on the tank. Then on the inside, there's a couple of pops inside here to balance the system, nothing really fancy, and it's all sort of standard plumbing that you buy around the house and, and kitchenware and stuff like that. So that's really easy to put together. Then there's a, a clear line that goes to the front of the bike or to the swing arm, down the swing arm, at the back of the swing arm, to the very back end to the back wheel to the sprocket area and this is where the magic happens so inside that little square uh, system there is a is a piston it's an inertia piston um, that moves up and down opens ports and that regulates the flow down the back of the swing arm onto this capillary tube over here which lubricates the the inside of the chain so I used to use chain wax um, and I was quite diligent with putting chain wax on my chain and the problem was in our hot climate uh, the, the the top end of the chain would be very very dry and the back end would be wet because the the heat would melt the wax and it would just fling off so you actually do want any lubricant to fling off of a chain um, eventually so it, it gathers the muck and then it will fling off uh, so that you don't wear your chain but the, the problem with the chain wax is I was doing about 200 miles and the chain was dry, which, which is ridiculous. I mean, you should be doing way more than that. So touring became a problem. So I decided to make this little system. The nice thing with an inertia-based system is the more vibration you add to that back little piston, the more it's going to lubricate the chain. So rough roads where you're going to fling off of the chain more, it's going to lubricate more. Um, also, the hotter it gets, the, the less viscous the oil is, and again, the more it's going to lubricate the chain. But then again, when you're standing at a robot, uh, or, or traffic light as you guys call it, um, you don't want it to lubricate the chain, you definitely don't want it to lubricate the chain with a bike that's parked inside the house, which is where most bikes should be parked, I mean, let's be honest. So, stationary, you don't want any leakage out of the system. And this system doesn't leak. I've just taken it for a drive now and it, it's not leaking at all yeah so i hope you guys have enjoyed the video something a little bit different i hope um, thank you very much for watching